Hey Google, switch on heater. Wanna make your thermostat smarter? Let's get to the work. Welcome to our channel, Citrus Home and Garden. Today we are going to unbox and install Honeywell RTH 9585WF thermostat and it can work with your Google Home or Alexa. So let's get to the unboxing. Now this thermostat can be connected to your Wi-Fi. It can be programmed as per your need and also it got cool color display. As you can see, you can set as per your room color. Now another good part which I liked about it is it doesn't need extra batteries to keep the display on. It works on existing 24 VAC power supply which you are going to use it from your existing thermostat. So there is no extra connectivity needed. We'll talk about that in the later part. As mentioned earlier, this can work with Alexa and Google Home. Let's get into the quick unboxing here. So what we get in the box, we get this cool little thermostat, a back panel. Now we are going to talk about this in details, but you see these letters C, K, R, Y, G, etc. These are connectors and this is going to be the one critical part of this installation. You get this piece of paper. These are basically stickers. Please keep it safe. You also get quick start guide, a touchscreen configuration manual, C wire addendum, couple of screws. And this is how your thermostat is going to look like with a back panel. Pretty straightforward, simple design. Let's start the installation process. The first step is we'll take off the old thermostat. This is the back panel of the old thermostat and the wiring. So let's spend some time on the wiring. I highly recommend to take a picture of your panel before you touch it. So here you see there are five wires with a different color coding, but don't focus on the color coding. We have to go by the letters. So for an example, let's take color red which is in connector R. So as soon as you take out that wire, you have to wrap around a sticker with the letter R. Now we are not using sticker R because it's a red wire, but because it is connected to R connector. Now for letter C, where the blue wire is going in, you're not going to use sticker B. You're going to use sticker C because it's a current wire. So let's start with the safety first. Go to your circuit breaker and switch off your supply to the thermostat. The thermostat display should go off, but in my case, it did not because it has this extra set of batteries. Once I took them off, my thermostat display was disabled. Next, we will unscrew this panel and take out each wire one by one. I'm starting with wire Y, uh, which is yellow. So let's take a Y sticker and we need to follow this step on each wire one by one. And you can see all the wires are wrapped with their respective stickers. Next, we are going to install this panel. And there is high probability that the lettering scheme on this panel will not match with your original thermostat lettering scheme. But our stickers are going to help us here. Carefully pull all the wires through this panel and start inserting them one by one. The important wire here is wire C, which is blue. So make sure that you are not inserting that in blue slot but you have to insert that in C slot and your panel is ready. Next level the panel and insert the screws. At this step we are pretty much done. The next step is you need to take the display panel, match your connectors with the electrical panel and just press it. Make sure it's properly mounted on the electrical panel. There is no gap between the wall and the panel and it's not loose. Next, go to the circuit breaker and switch on the power. Now I'm going to walk you through all these steps. So first, let's select the language. Then location. Then you can rename this name. So I'm going to put the thermostat in the living room. So I just put the living room here. Hit next and select heating and cooling. Forced air. Y wire is connected. W wire is connected and done. After saving the changes, our next step is connect the thermostat to the Wi Fi. So click yes, select your Wi Fi, 
enter your password and it will connect and the connection is successful click ok and your thermostat is ready to use in manual mode so there are different tabs here fan mode and settings in settings you can also change the display color which can match with your room color I like the blue one I'm just going to keep it our next step is to make this thermostat smart so the first thing we are going to create the account on the Honeywell portal so you need to download this total connect comfort app and create the account once your account is set up enter the username password in the app set up your privacy settings and your app is ready to use at the bottom you see a system tab which you can use to set your thermostat in a heating or cooling mode we will now configure this thermostat with google home so that it can work with the voice command so go to your google home app click on the plus button and set up a new device which for honeywell connect us and not the international one as you can see here there are two but you have to select us if you are in us enter the credentials accept the terms and conditions it will show you the room which you have configured initially with the thermostat in my case it's a living room hit connect and your thermostat is all set up in google home app next you select the room of your choice in my case living room and select next and your thermostat is added to the list you can scroll down and see your thermostat there let's check the connectivity real quick hey google switch on heater okay changing the living room to heat you can also change it to the cooling or set it to the desired temperature hey google set temperature to 65 sure setting the living room to 65 degrees and there you go and that's pretty much it i hope you will find this video helpful thanks again for watching see you in the next video bye bye